Jean is in court to claim £20 for inconvenience after her local coffee shop was closed unexpectedly for two days. Defendant Amanda admits she had to close the coffee shop when she lost her pet hamster, but claims that because it was an emergency, she should not have to pay. Now, do I have Jean? Yes, sir. And is it Amanda? It is. Now, Jean, you're here with a point of legal principle, and I have to tell you, believe it or not, in law, it's a very challenging one. As a matter of fact, it's not worth a lot of money, to say the very least. But let's just get to the facts. The two of you live in a town, correct? Or a small village, really? A village. <laughs> Where exactly is this village in the world? Not exactly. I don't want to show up one day, you never know. You, one minute you say where you live, the next minute somebody's knocking at your door and making you tea and they haven't moved out ten years later. <laughs> exactly. Do carry on. We live in a little village in South Wales. South Wales. And the thing about you, Jean, is that you're a woman of routine, am I right? Yes, sir. And the good news is, Amanda, you run a rather lovely business, don't you? I do. And what's your rather lovely business? A coffee shop in the village. And it's not just any old coffee shop. It's become something a bit more. It's a coffee shop come meeting house, correct? It is. Somebody might arrive into the middle of this part of South Wales and say, hello, I'm the only one in the village, correct? Yes, sir. <laughs> I can imagine. And there it is. And that's the coffee shop. And, Jean, it's part of your day-to-day -day routine, to say the very least. Yes. Give me an idea. I wake up in the morning and I'm Jean and I do my various bits and pieces and I arrive at the co coffee shop. I see Amanda. What happens next? How long will you spend there? I go to the coffee shop. I order my jacket potato and my cappuccino coffee. Of course. And I'll sit down and I'll read a book or I'll chat away to Amanda. It's basically it. And you're there for five hours. What's more? Some days, yeah. Some days. What's more? You have a particular seat, correct? Yes. Look uh, at that picture there, Amanda. Where's the seat? Oh, Jean's uh, seat is... Uh, Third table down on the right hand side. It's somebody's seat. It if somebody sat in Jean's seat, what would happen? Would there be some species of violence? <laughs> well, Jean does this face, so. Well, just you know. pause for a second. I need to understand the level of commitment she has both to the coffee shop and to the seat. Mm. I'll be you, you be Jean. Hello, Jean. Somebody's in your seat. What face would she do? <sighs> And she'd just storm off to another seat, <clears throat> slam her bag down. I can imagine so. Lots of people have a seat. It's like a local pub, only a little bit more upmarket. Yeah. Now, not just that, but you're telling me about your jacket potato, Jean. It's quite a special one. Tell me about your jacket potato. Jean's because I jacket. didn't need 30 years doing international law. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy having Kershaw chicken and with grated cheese over the top. You enjoy having what, madam? Let me just get this right. You enjoy having what? Kershaw chicken. Kershaw chicken? Yep. Yeah, Is that cheese. like the last Viceroy of India? <laughs> Lord Curzon? Kershaw, sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's like K Cajun or what? Cajun chicken with cheese on the top, grated cheese. And in fact, it's true to say that this has become such an unusual recipe, <laughs> so specific to Jean's taste, in fact, mm. that this jacket potato has got a name. What's the name of the jacket potato? <sighs> Jean's jacket. <laughs> Excuse me, what? <laughs> Jean's jacket. Jean's jacket. It is. <laughs> Understood. Well, Jean's jacket, it sounds very exotic. <laughs> Point is, if I came in and said I wanted a Jean's jacket, you know exactly what I wanted. Oh, she good. relies on it being opened and you'd provide me... What was it called, madam? Cajun chicken with cheese. What's I'd have Cajun chicken with cheese. You would. Exactly. And a sick bucket and a toilet days later. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judge rind of moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel. Right now. That's an order.